Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs. I'd like to tell you about a fun class I'm going to be teaching for Stitches at Home in February. Stitches at Home in February is a two weekend event, the 5th and 6th and the 12th and 13th. My class is going to be Serger Techniques for Garment Sewers. This class is going to be held on the 5th and 6th and it's going to be chock full of tips and techniques that you can use to elevate your garments to a more decorative level. In the first class, which is going to be held on February 5th from 10 to 12 Central Time, I'm going to show you how to use your serger to get great results when you're working with knits that are drastically different. This raglan sleeve I'm wearing has a very heavyweight rib knit for the front and back and it's paired with a double brush poly sleeve. So I'm going to show you how to use your differential feed and manage the fabric so you can get really nice non-stretched out seams when you're working with different knits. I'm also going to show you how to get accurate seam allowances and I want to be able to have time in the first class to answer all your questions. So if you've got something going on with your serger and you're stumped, bring those questions with you to class because the format of this class has three sessions, so there'll be plenty of time to customize the material to everybody's needs. So I'm super excited about this opportunity. The second class is going to be from 2 to 4 central time, and in that class I'm going to show you how to make some decorative details using the three thread flat lock and reverse flat lock stitch. You can use your flat lock stitch to create this really cool decorative um, not so blind blind hem. And actually it looks really cool on the wrong side. You put a heavier thread in your needle and it creates this bold ladder on the right side of your garment. But my favorite thing is to look at the inside of the garment and you can see here, because you're using the flat lock stitch, it looks like you lined up and finished the edge of your hem perfectly on the inside. So it has a beautiful professional finish on the inside and then the decorative ladders on the outside. I'll also be discussing how to make this a true blind hem if you don't want those ladders to show. So we're going to work with that. Then I'm going to show you how to do a variety of surface embellishments using the flat lock and the reverse flat lock. And you can see here there's a lot of different variation um, that you can get using that one stitch. And then I'm going to show you how to use that same flat lock stitch to construct garments. And you can add really cool details to things like necklines. You can see here the neck band was attached with a reverse flat lock and again that inside of your neckline is going to look perfect because the flat lock side of the stitch shows on the opposite side and you can see it looks like that neck band is finished perfectly on the edge. So you can get super professional results with a very little effort here. I'm going to show you how to make decorative cord using a heavier thread and we're gonna do some surface embellishments on the front of this little neckline just to add some pizzazz. I'm sure that this class is really gonna get your um, creative juices flowing and the cool thing is you're gonna have 24 hours before the next class because the third class is gonna be on the 6th from 2 to 4 central time so you'll have time to practice, play, Maybe you have questions, you can jot those down, and then you can come back for the third class, and we will revisit anything that you have questions with. And I'll also be sharing some other fun things, like elastic waistband finish that's quick and easy. And the, my favorite part about this is the elastic never rolls in the casing, because you're going to sew the elastic to the raw edge flip it down, and then stitch it on your sewing machine to hold it in place. So you can see on the wrong side and on the right side you get beautiful professional results. Alright, I'm also going to show you a garment that I made completely on the serger. This is my flat lock skirt and the cool thing about this, this skirt is I did the entire thing on the serger. 
So if you remember when I showed you that neckline, I used a similar technique to attach the waistband onto the top of this skirt. You can see we have those professional results on the inside. And then I also used the flat lock stitch and I changed the stitch length to make it very, very short near the rolled hem setting to create this bold stripe look on the fabric. So there's an actual seam here, these were pieces, but the cool thing is you could do this flat lock stitch in the middle of your fabric to make it look like you have more seams than there are. So there's lots of things we're going to be talking about in terms of how to use the serger to create the look of a seam, but also how to sew the seam and have it be decorative. So I put the not so blind blind hem on the bottom of this skirt as well. So this is another fun project. If you want to take your serger farther than the basics and you've made friends with it already, maybe you took, you know, break your serger out of the box, consider joining me for this class and we can spend some quality time together. I do know in the last class I taught, we were able to figure out some of the students' issues they were having with their stitch. So there will be time for troubleshooting as well. So click the link below this video, or if you're watching me on Instagram, just go ahead to my bio and find the link there to register for this class. If you're watching this last minute and you don't have time to get the kit, there is a list of supplies that you can prepare for class so you don't have to, you know, worry about not having the kit. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I will help you. Also, I really hope to see you in Serger Techniques for Garment Sewers at Stitches at Home in February on the 5th and 6th. Have a lovely rest of your day.